Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Project 27. I'm your host, Bill Ladd, and we come together to try and get better. Try to become the best, world class. Best at what? That's your call. For me, I'm trying to become a better version of myself or the best version of myself and build out a world class accounting firm. And today, guys, I want to talk about something I heard on a podcast that I thought was fascinating. I thought it was such a interesting concept that had never crossed my mind, and, and I don't know why. But anyway, I was listening to, to a great prod, podcast called Masters of Scale with Reed Hoffman, one of the founders of LinkedIn. And he had a an executive from Apple, an HR executive on there. And she was having, she told a great story about being authentic and, and, you know, how you can communicate with your team. And it was really cool. But during the the podcast, she kind of had a throwaway comment that just really resonated with me for some reason. She was talking about, you know, how she was explaining to her team, you know, what she was trying to accomplish. And basically she said, you know, she wants to be able to look back and feel like, this is where she did her life's best work. And I paused at that and I, I played it again and I, and I listened again. And she said she wanted to be able to look back and say, this is where I did my life's best work. And guys, man, it just really kind of floored me. And, and maybe I, I'm reading way too much into this, but I thought that was such a insightful, poignant, Converse, or a comment. And, and it really got me to thinking, what do I want to be able to look back on? Or how will I look back on what I am doing now? And how do I look at back at what I was doing three to five to 10 years ago? Guys, I can promise you that I will look back. I look back at those times and say, that was not my best work. You know, there was a lot of things that I was doing wrong but it got me to thinking what has to be true for me to start a trend of looking back and saying that was the best work I've ever done. What we're building at Duckett Lad, I can say I am in the middle of doing my life's best work and I love it. And I love the team we're building. But man, if you could have that mindset that year over year, you want to do your life's best work. And you make that a never ending finish line where each year you try to get a little better. And that what we're trying to do at Project 27. We're trying to be able to build a resume that you look back and say, this is my life's best work. Now, guys, that's work, not family, not home, not the thing you're most proud of. But when you look back at, at what you did professionally, can you start framing it? Am I doing my life's best work now? If you're not, then you're like I was three or four years ago, five years ago, you know, before we formed our own firm, I was coasting. You know, I, I was I was kind of moving forward and, and doing what I've always done, getting through tax season, trying to do my best, but not really passionate, not engaged, not casting a vision to my team of what could be. And what is going to be our firm's best work that we can look back on and be super proud of. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. I want you to frame this to yourself. Do you feel that what you're doing now will be considered your life's best professional work? And if not, why not? Are you ready to commit to trying to make it so? Because I promise you, if you commit to that, then your team will feel it, your family will feel it, and you will feel it. And it will be something that will change and transform your business and your life. So guys, I'm going to challenge you to really step back and ask yourself that question. Am I doing my life's best work? And if not, what has to be true for me to be able to look back at this time and say, I did. So guys, I hope you find this, this helpful. For me, it was one of those lightning bolt moments where I had some clarity on how I need to uh, conceptualize what I'm doing and why it's important. So hope you guys are doing well. Hope you learned something. And until next time, guys, we will talk soon. So take care.